Hello guys, I'm not gonna do a full voiceover for this whole video because I am so tired but I just wanted to talk a little about this painting and say hi, I hope you are all doing well today and are having a nice day and if not I hope I can brighten your day a little with this colorful art piece. So this is a remake of a drawing that I started on more than a year ago and the reason why I never finished the first one that you saw in the beginning of the video is that I didn't get enough inspiration to color it. I only did the line art but I wasn't really feeling it so I just left it as it were and my intention was to finish it someday and now a little while ago I found it again and since I now got these awesome Koi watercolors I found inspiration to finally color it but I wasn't that fond of the composition in the original one and the look of it all and it felt a bit empty and stiff and a lot has changed in my art style in a year so I decided to redraw it and this is how it turned out. So I'm using Koi watercolors on a Bristol board and I usually use rougher watercolor paper but I've seen other artists using Bristol board instead and I wanted to try that and the colors felt very easy to control on the paper and I had a friend that pointed out that it almost looks like it was colored in with markers when it was done and yeah it actually does and I can imagine that it has something to do with a smoother Bristol board that gives a smoother texture like markers and I really like that. I loved painting this little cat person that is exploring the forest with his pet parrot on his shoulder and I had so much fun making all the details. I wanted to create a lot of things to look at that added to a more mystic environment like mushrooms and an owl and crystals and leaves and such. And at the second part of the painting I created the line art and that's my favorite part to create all the lines that ties the whole art piece together. And I'm using black India ink from Winsor Newton and a thin paintbrush and the reason why I want to save the line art till last is that when during the coloring process you might want to change something or add a detail which can be very tricky if you already have made a line art so I usually save that for last. And I really like the cartoonish feeling the ink gave the painting. So yeah, I think that's all for now. I will leave you to watch me finish the rest of it. And I hope you liked this painting. Leave a like and a comment if you did. And maybe share it with someone that you think might like it. My views has been going down a lot lately because of YouTube and stuff. I don't even know. So I appreciate all the help I can get. Thank you all for the support and thanks for watching, keep drawing my happy cats!